today I just want to apologize for my voice quality but it just needed to be done this video so I'm gonna go ahead and just proceed forward but um, we have a cereal box template and I want to let you know you have the option of doing this in Illustrator or Photoshop I have actually uploaded both versions of this file for you inside canvas so you are welcome to choose which one you want um, and I'm going to get you started in both of the programs so that um, depending on which program you're using you know how to get started all right so what we have in Illustrator um, is similar to what we have in Photoshop we've got a template frame we have the labeled sides of the boxes we have the nutritional facts we have the guidelines. These guidelines are extremely important because what they do is they tell you where not to put images or any type of text. Now the colors that you choose for the backgrounds of these boxes, that is okay to take it uh, up to the edge where the dotted lines are. But if you have a character and you have type, none of that should be going into these um, past these blue areas. So just keep that in mind as you're working. And then we have our sketch layer, which we're going to bring in our sketch in a moment. And then we have a background layer. So I have this set up for you just like this. And um, what I'd like to do is I'm going to bring my background uh, layer down. When you open this file, I'll have this down here. I just accidentally got put up here for the video. Um, so I'll have this down here already for you and set to go. Alright, so as far as what the background is, I would just make it easier on yourself and use this template that I have provided. I'm going to go ahead and copy this, so Command C, and then I'm going to go into my background. Make sure you lock that. Go into your background and then just paste in place. Okay, and then you're going to want to go ahead and choose a color for this. So I would go to your libraries, go to your cereal box folder. Hopefully you have some colors that you've chosen. So let me go and see if I can find the one. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a color that I think would work best. Okay, you can also vary up the value of these colors too. So if that color looks great, but it might be a little too bright for a background, you can double click and go ahead and pick a different um, value for that color. Okay, now it's gonna make it really hard to see, obviously, so we're gonna lock that background, but just turn it off temporarily. Okay, now let's bring in our sketch. We're gonna do file, and I like to do place, because I feel like it, it makes it easier to bring stuff in. And then you're going to go into wherever you downloaded your sketch. And I am not seeing my sketch very easily right now. So let's see if I can find it. I'm seeing other projects, but not... This is actually the sketch that I need. Let's see if it'll let me bring it in because it's coming. Yeah, it did. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click. I'm going to need to rotate this. Definitely making sure that it's straight. It's okay if it's not uh, lined up perfectly, but having it straight is important. And then just placing it down onto the artboard. And then I'm going to make adjustments by lowering the opacity. So I'm going to take my opacity and go down to about 40%. And that looks pretty darn close. I can use my arrows too to help me move my sketch if I want to. Okay, And now with all the stuff underneath it's just too confusing and it, it just looks messy. So what I'm going to do is under, under my layers I'm going to turn off some of the things that are distracting. So I'm going to turn off the labeled sides, the nutritional effects. Um, that looks about right. Okay, so try to get it as close to the template as you can. If you don't get it perfect, it's okay. We can always move stuff later. We want to try to get it as close as we can. Okay, that's pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and lock my sketch. And then this is where it gets a little bit complicated because we have to make groups of layers 
to be able to organize everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do a step called making a new layer, which you're very familiar with. We're going to name this layer group one. And then I'm going to create my first sub layer. So this is going to turn into a folder. I'm going to come down and actually click on the sub layer and I'm going to start to name it in order of my layers that are in group one. So layer one, I was going to call this one text. Layer two will be orange. Now it's weird because I don't want a sub layer of text, but I want a new layer. So I'm going to come here and make a new layer and I'm going to title this orange. I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to title this one maze. And then I need one more layer for my cereal. So I'm just going to call that bowl. Okay. And then before I move on to group two, what I'll do is I'll just start working in this la these layers and I'll start to build this design. Okay. Um, keeping in mind, I've already chosen my background for later. So I don't, unless you are going to go ahead and create another colored background, you would have to make another layer for that. But if you're going to keep the same color for the entire box, then you, you should already have chosen your background color and not have to deal with that layer and just work from bottom to top. Now my maze is coming from a uh, image that I have saved and I've downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and if I'm bringing in objects like that, I would just do file, place, find the object and paste it into that layer. And then part two of this video, I'm going to show you how to actually finish this project off and um, get it ready for turning in. Now I'm going to move on to Photoshop as well for part I'll make three part videos. I'll make a video of just this showing you how to get Illustrator set up. I'll give you another video on how to set up your Photoshop file if you choose to do Photoshop. And then I'll do a separate video on how to finish off the project. So there'll be three videos total.